How's it going, everybody? It's the beginning of 2022, and I'm doing a review of total sales and all the numbers of my merch by Amazon account. And I'm going to take my time here for uh, anybody who's actually interested in all the details. I'll be, I'll be talking about the total sales amounts, to total profits, total numbers. I'm going to be looking at each month. Uh, individually at just the numbers and all that kind of stuff. I, I have a plan to compare this to uh, 2019, not all the details, but just some of the core numbers, 2018. So there's a there are a few things that I want to look at. And that's why I'm telling you guys right now, I, I am going to take my time. So for anybody who's here, you know, just for this information, this is it. And I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to save you you know, all the time if you don't want to go through this with me. So I'm just going to mention like the, the core numbers here. Total number of sales. This is across all the marketplaces, as you can see here, is 3,586. So I have sold through Amazon's Merch by Amazon 3,500 86 items now for someone like me who started a couple of years ago uh, without having a clue you know what print on demand is besides it kind of being somewhat obvious uh, in in the in the name and in the term uh, this to me is incredible right so let's look at some of these numbers total items sold in the US 2,993 and I know you guys can see all this but I'm going to talk you through it total sales $55,810.03 for the total amount of profit or royalties $11,233 I'm going to go through these somewhat quickly United Kingdom 121 dollars 406 pounds in profits for the total amount in sales of 2142 germany 154 france 70 italy 55 spain 40 japan 153 so let's get into the actual total numbers which should be right here so the total sales for the year 2021, Merch by Amazon, again, as I've mentioned, 3,586. Total amount in sales, One now that I'm adding all these numbers up, right? I've added all these numbers up. It comes out to $68,035.92. These are US dollars. And total profits, $13,389.92. And 94 cents so to me I uh, I honestly don't have anything to say except that I am incredibly happy like this is to me is amazing I pulled in sixty eight thousand dollars in sales last year off of one platform in addition to everything else that I do and this is the print-on-demand platform now you know, you can you can analyze this information any way you want. You can look at the tier levels, uh, you know, compare it to whatever and whoever. The fact is that someone who, like I said, three, four years ago, had no clue what print on demand was, just did $68,000 in sales last year. This turns out, and I actually did the math here. Let me just see where it is. This turns out to be on average $1,115.75 a month. Now, this wasn't, of course, the exact same amount every month, but that was that's the average monthly profits. This is the monthly amount that somebody, in this case, Amazon, was depositing into my bank account. Now, let's look at some of these numbers uh, a little closer. But before we do, I want to compare this to 2020 and I didn't do the total profits and these are just rough, rough estimates 
within a few dollars uh, of my total sales. So last year, COVID year, and I'm going to try and uh, keep these numbers fresh so we can compare. Total sales, 1,549. Total sales amount, 27,000. So less than half is 2020. So again, if I'm just kind of going off of the, the growth year after year, 2021 was incredible. I more than doubled my sales and I would think profits as well. Amazing. 2019, 2,479 total amount in sales, 41,000, just about there. Now, 2020 was less than 2019 because it was a COVID year. There was one month that everybody, I believe, had a zero uh, sales in. I think it was April. And, uh, and, and 2020 definitely wasn't the same. But even if we're looking at 2019 as a benchmark, this was a, a huge increase. So again, the, the number itself here, if, if I step back, there are people who don't make $68,000 working their full-time jobs. And I understand that they would, they would have uh, you know, a lot higher take-home uh, amount, but this is print on demand. This is a platform. And when it comes to the actual, you know, amount of hours that I put in, I definitely don't put in eight hours a day. I'm actually ashamed of, of how little time I actually spend uh, versus how much I would like to, because I think that these numbers could be a lot better. Uh, and, and you know what, even going into 2022 right now with the total number of designs that I have live and the total number of, uh, items uh, there's just so much room uh, to grow so let's look at some of this so right here you can see the entire year and uh, we'll start here with uh, January and you know there's nothing really there's really nothing to this uh, it was a pretty standard beginning to, to the year uh, you know, actually January was a little better than, than December of 2020. Uh, there was a bit of a drop in, in February, which is expected. And then, you know, the summer months and everything hovered around the same number. I had a huge pickup, uh, you know, starting in kind of end of August, September, October. And then if, if for anybody who's been following me on this channel, uh, knows about the big, huge drop and, and even December ending at least these are the US numbers ending as the second worst month. That wasn't the case uh, with my overall sales. Actually, December turned out to be one of the better months of the year. However, uh, if we're just looking at this graph and these are the, my US sales, uh, you can see that this, this was completely uh, unexpected, definitely not wanted. And, uh, and, and you know, having this momentum here I honestly thought that this was going to spike. I thought this was going to be an incredible November, incredible December. But again, here we are. This is the reality and we're dealing with it. So let's go through each month. And uh, as you can see here, I've, I've, I have a screen prepared for every single month. I'm going to go through this uh, fairly quickly. Uh, but uh, but I think it is important to, to look at U.S. sales and then to look at total sales. So I'm going to do that quickly. January 234 sales in the U.S. 262. So the reason I'm doing this is just so you can see how close and I actually don't have to pull up this graph, but I want I wanted to just kind of visually show you. But but this is the number. The number is the same here. So 234 sales in the U.S. and then barely any sales across all the marketplaces. So this is how my year started, right? 160, so this is February. 165 sales in the US and then 20 altogether uh, in, in all the other marketplaces for the total of 185. So we're going 260 to 185. So there was that drop. This is the visual representation of what I'm talking about. Then we get into 
March, we see a bit of a pickup. And we're starting to see some of the international marketplaces, you know, get double digits. So Japan, 25 sales. That's amazing, right? How did that happen? Why did it happen? I don't know, but you know, uh, here we are. 226. But again, look at the look at the international sales. Very, very low. US sales 193. Where are we? What is this? May. May. 227 total sales. US sales 197. So 30 sales difference. So 30 sales across the other marketplaces. 251, 217. Again, you know, the this number is growing, but very, very slowly. 246, 200, again, hovering around the, the same uh, difference here, but we're starting to see a few double digits. 303, so this is where the sales kind of slowly are starting to pick up. Again, the, the difference between the US sales and the other marketplaces now is, you know, over 60, which hasn't happened before, right? We're looking at some of these numbers and, and we're not near 60, but here, yes, we are. 384, 443 is the total. This is for September. So this is when sales were actually kind of uh, getting really, really good for me. Uh, but again, you know, this was, uh, there was a bit of momentum across all the marketplaces. But again, the difference is still like the, the, the majority of the sales were coming from the US marketplace. This was the big one for me. So this was October of 2021. 586 total sales, still majority of them coming from the US, US sales, 530. So we're still under 60. So this is a difference of 56 sales. November, 274. So this is where we, where I had that big, big drop. So look at this. Went from 586 to 274 in the middle of Q4 when you would think that sales would just spike incredibly. And uh, you know, this, this is the problem with uh, Merch by Amazon and Amazon having all the information that we would need because I would love to see what happened. I would love to see, you know, if some of my products were not showing up anymore. I would love to see, you know, if, if it was simply because other people were spending money on ads. I, I would love to see that information. We don't have it. We have to deal with, uh, what we have and then we get to this month so that look at this look at the difference like this difference here is a is 71 sales between uh us and the total number and then we get this huge jump of over a hundred right because my US sales had just crashed. And look at this, look at this going, going from, uh, I just wanna get the month right, September. September, 389. November, September, October, 530. November, 203. So this is less than half going into December. And then 166, this is like the worst of the worst, right? This is the second worst month of the year for US sales, but not for the other marketplaces. And that was the difference. This really, really uh, saved my December, these other international uh, sales, because uh, you know, if, if we're looking at the totals, and just go through this quickly, uh, I'll, I'll jump these two very good months. So, so 275 for the second worst month of the year in the US, 303, 24, so better than, than this month, better than this month, better than this month, better than this one. Okay, this one was good, better, better, and then here we are. So December, even though it was the second worst month of the year for US sales, it was probably like the fifth best month overall. And that's the power of all these other marketplaces. So, let me go back to this screen and that's, that's how I'm going to end this here. 2019 total sales, 2,471 total amount in sales, 41,000 COVID year, 2020, 
Total sales, 1,549. Total amount in sales, 27,000. And then we get to 2021. The best year since I've uh, been working with merch. Total sales, 3,586. Total amount in sales, these are US dollars, $68,000. $35.92 total profits of $13,389.94. The only thing I'll say is I'm going to work extra hard in 2022. It doesn't matter if, if I don't get these kinds of numbers. It doesn't matter if I get, you know, uh, much, much better numbers. Uh, what matters is that I truly believe in this program. I, I honestly do believe that that nobody should do anything to you know jeopardize their their uh account with amazon i i don't think that this is a joke this is a long-term game uh i'm just extremely happy with it right i have a bunch of other uh, platforms that i work with and uh you know what if, if i'm just going to be i guess very smart and very optimistic i'm going to look five years ahead and, and once you put all that together, when you put your Etsy together, your online store, your eBay, any of the other smaller platforms, for example, like uh, uh, Redbubble, Society6, Zazzle, multiply that, multiply this growth by five years, even if it's not you know growth just in this channel, but all the other uh, channels, we're talking about a, a significant income here, you know? Uh, and, and, you know, you can say that this is passive income. I don't actually think that it is because it does involve a lot of, uh, research. If I did a lot of, uh, research, if I, if I ran a lot of, uh, uh, reports, if I looked at keywords closely and a lot of different things, these numbers would be much, much better. But like I said, you know, starting in 2018 with this, uh, just learning about print on demand in, uh, 2017, I believe it was. Uh, and, and, you know, a couple of years later to pull in these kinds of numbers to me, that's, there's nothing to say about it. It's, it's just incredible. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys.